Now, I'm going to have to put this back together again using the new timing bolt pulley. And the same deal again with this shaft, there's this little flat area where you need to align the longer grab screw. I'm actually loosen these up a bit before I start even trying to put this in place. With a new camera angle I've also flipped this bit upside down so the area where the gear actually goes is on the bottom. So first of all I'm going to take the pulley, sorry not gear, the pulley and the belt and place these into the slot and making sure that the the longer grub screw is facing out. Now I'm going to take the shaft and look where the flat bit of the shaft is and point that out as well. I'm going to slide this back in. Align the flat bit with the grub screw and gently tap in the shaft in place. It's almost there. And there we go. It's all the way in. So that shows the shaft completely through the pulley and there's no gap in here in this area and the, if you look in the other side of the pulley you should, it's difficult to show with the camera but there should be a one millimeter of the shaft shoulder showing on the other side and there's a pretty good photo of this how it's supposed to look like on the documentation so please refer to that as well. The next thing I will do is to flip this thing over so that I can uh, put the bearing back in. So this is uh, the pulley side. You have to put the pulley side bearing back in first. should go fairly easily by hand and then we will uh, put the cap back on as well I'm going to use this tool again with the pins back in place to tighten this up So, I'm then I'm going to flip this thing over again. Let's pop the bearing back in. And again, if you get it aligned properly, it should be fairly easy to get this back on. Doesn't want to go. Gently tap with the hammer. It's going in, but ideally it should be a lot easier to put in. So what I'm going to try to do next uh, to get this bearing in, I'm going to try to use this 9mm socket and uh, place that on the bearing. Since the 9mm socket is slightly bigger than the shaft, which I believe is 8mm, so this should work fairly nicely. 
There we go. And the bearing is in place. And the next thing is to replace the locking ring. Put them in there. Before completely tightening it, I'm going to actually screw it in a little and then apply a bit of the WD-40 just to make sure that it doesn't bind into the threads. That should be enough. Again, the idea is to tighten this up only so that you remove all this play from the axis. But you don't want to tighten it too much because that might affect how freely the shaft is rotating. It might cause a too much strain on the motor or, or the belt. Feel a little bit of play. I have to actually feel the shaft because I haven't I haven't secured the grab screws. Probably should do that now. I'm gonna try to find the flat bit of the shaft so I can uh, screw this grub screw all the way down. So that's the shaft rotating freely. Tighten up the ring again. Can't feel any play in there. And the ring is in place. So all we need to do is to replace this cap. these pins back again inside the tool and tighten the cap and that's the modification done on the declination axis all we got to do is put it back together again and replace the uh, the gears and the motors themselves with the uh, with these timing pulleys, and uh, we're almost there.